Hi, I am John Hoffman. I am the author of Getting to Healthy, Making the Transition to Eating Real Food, available on Amazon.com. Many people cannot make the transition to healthy eating because they use fast food, junk food, highly processed food, and going out to eat as the main way they reward themselves for just about everything, from getting through a hard day or week of work, to passing an exam, to celebrating a promotion or a raise. This reward system is so ingrained in our culture and so powerful that if you were to take it away, it would leave a gigantic hole in most people's lives, one that many would say is simply too big to fill and you would immediately be accused of depriving people of life's simple pleasures. As Douglas Lyle and Alan Goldhamer assert in their book, The Pleasure Trap, Mastering the Hidden Force that Undermines Health and Happiness, seeking pleasure is one of the three major motivators in all animals, including human beings. So getting humans to give up a major source of pleasure and reward is like trying to pry off a large suction cup attached to a sheet of glass. Brute force just results in a lot of wounded souls and shattered glass. So, how can we replace this powerful reward structure? You must replace it with a new, healthier reward system. Of course, that is easier said than done because junk food is cheap, readily accessible, and socially acceptable and because junk food reliably brings instant gratification. To make the switch to a healthier reward structure requires two things. First, you must learn to get pleasure from eating whole plant-based foods. If this sounds like an oxymoron, you are partially correct. It is true that whole plant-based foods do not have the concentrated refined sugars, fats, salt, and other additives that instantly light up the pleasure centers of your brain. Mother Nature did design whole natural foods, such as fresh berries and fruits, to bring you pleasure, just not the intense highs that come from eating junk foods. But wait, what's wrong with a little intense pleasure? The answer is, if it comes with harmful or adverse short or long-term consequences, then, like illegal drugs, it should be avoided. If you don't believe that fast food, junk food, and highly processed foods are harmful to your long-term health and to the health of our society, I challenge you to read Dr. Joel Furman's book, Fast Food Genocide, How Fast Food is Killing Us and What We Can Do About It. The key to learning to enjoy whole natural foods is simple. You must abstain from eating all fast foods, junk foods, and highly processed foods long enough to allow your taste buds to change. This usually takes from two to eight weeks. Research and testimonials show that your taste buds will change, and when they do, you will then be capable of enjoying meals consisting of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, and seeds, because they fully satisfy your hunger, are far more sweet than you had ever imagined, and because they make you feel better. Once you give up all junk food for good, your ability to experience the rewards inherent in eating whole natural foods will be greatly magnified. To help you stick to your resolve and make it through the difficult withdrawal phase that follows abstaining from all junk food, read my book, Getting to Healthy, Making the Transition to Eating Real Food, available on Amazon.com. Interestingly, these natural built-in rewards have always been there, but the highly concentrated substances in pleasure foods have hijacked and overstimulated your natural senses. Eating junk food makes you taste blind to the full enjoyment of consuming the foods Mother Nature has provided. The second thing you must do to switch to a healthier reward structure is retrain your brain to focus on and seek out internal rather than external rewards. Internal rewards are produced when you engage in activities that bring joy, 
a sense of accomplishment, or a sense of having made a contribution to the betterment of the world, such as playing with your children, strengthening your marriage, raising responsible and happy children, donating to a worthy cause, being true to your morals, seeing the best in others, doing selfless service, writing a book, engaging in uplifting social interactions, helping others to learn things that are important to them, being kind, gracious, and generous, furthering your education and skill set, achieving worthy goals, and becoming more like the person you desire to be. Research shows that when you do good things, you feel better about your life and about yourself. Internal rewards are more enduring and are felt more deeply than the short-lived highs that come from eating junk food. So, give nature a chance. Refrain from eating junk food long enough to resensitize your taste buds and engage in activities that bring heartfelt, lasting internal rewards. By so doing, junk food will lose its iron grip on your life and you will live a happier, healthier life. Thanks for watching and see you next time. 